I've been thinking a lot about tater tots. You guys into those? Oh, they're so good. I'm so happy that restaurants are finally serving tater tots because it used to be that in order to get them, you had to show up at an elementary school. <laughs> which was like super weird when you're in your 30s and you have a tray <laughs> and you're in line. They're like, ma'am, you're gonna need to get 30 feet away from here. <laughs> Dang it. I'm from the South. I don't know if you can tell by this amazing accent. Thank you to drunk Southern people. <laughs> I grew up Christian, because that's what you do, so. I was a virgin for way too long, but I was like, I'm a virgin for Jesus. I'm doing this for Jesus. And Jesus would be like, I don't think you are, though. <laughs> nope, that's on you. <laughs> Leave me out of it. Turns out I was a virgin for way too long because I was a lesbian. I know that's shocking, fellas. <laughs> Sorry to ruin your fantasies. <laughs> but I was, a I, uh, I, yeah, I was uh, uh, in the closet when I was in college, and I moved in with one of my guy friends, and my mom, being the good Christian woman that she was, was not having it. She's like, I cannot believe that you're moving in with a man and you're not even married. You're going to be living in sin. I was like, well, then you're really not going to like the next thing I have to tell you. <laughs> Buckle up. We's about to get on the gay train. <laughs> when I finally told my dad, it was pretty nerve-wracking. He didn't know how to handle it. He was just like, all right. <laughs> okay. All right, well, uh, you want us to go get you a men's blazer or a top hat? <laughs> I was like, do you think lesbians wear top hats? <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to connect the dots. I actually did get hit on by a guy not too long ago, which hasn't happened since, well, never. I was leaving my friend's house in Venice Beach and I was standing there on this corner and this guy comes up to me, he's like, hey, do you wanna go back to my apartment with me? And I was like, me? He was like, yeah. I was like, dude, I'm wearing a top hat. That should be your first clue that this is not gonna work out. He's like, are you sure I got a lot of good dope back in my apartment? I'm like, first of all, who uses the word dope anymore? I haven't heard that word since the 80s when Nancy Reagan told me not to do it. So I told him I was gonna have to pass and he seemed shocked. I'm like, you're a complete stranger who I just met on the corner of Venice. Chances are you're homeless. You basically just asked me to go back to your box with you, <laughs> which is definitely not a way to impress a lady such as myself, he was like, lady, I thought you were my friend Craig. <laughs> what? I was so offended until he showed me a picture of his friend Craig. <laughs> Dang, I blame Supercuts. <laughs> I will say though that I did learn uh, everything about being a lesbian uh, in high school. There was uh, a lesbian sex ed class back then. It was called Woodshop. <laughs> what? She liked that one. <laughs> now that we're all friends, I did want to tell you guys I almost got abducted not too long ago. <laughs> Y'all look worried. Spoiler alert, I made it. <laughs> I was going to go pick up my friend, and you know in California we're not allowed to text and drive. Do you guys text and drive? Er <laughs> They're like, yeah. They're like, I'm gonna text somebody and let them know I'm gonna be there in five minutes. I don't need to see the road put a blindfold on me. In fact, Jesus, take the wheel. Take the wheel, Jesus. I'm gonna text somebody. Well, I pulled over to text my friend like a good citizen. Now you guys are like, who pulls over to text somebody? That's lame, you deserve to get abducted. Rude. So I was in there texting my friend. All of a sudden, I hear the passenger handle open up. I look over. Some strange dude is trying to get into my car. Clearly, he did not see who was driving, because if he had, he'd have opened the door and been like, uh, ha <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad, wrong car, wrong car. But that did not happen. He actually tried to get into my car, so I slammed on the gas, drove off. Most people would have been like, whoo, dodged a bullet, but not this girl, because I am from the South, and we get pissed. So I turned back around. <laughs> What I wanted to do was drive back by and roll down my window and say, what were you planning to do? Kidnap me out, have a original. 
But I did not do that because I'm kind of a wuss. So all I could think to do when I drove by him was just look at him really mean. <laughs> but it turned out my friend lived in the other direction, so I had to drive back by him again. <laughs> so the second time, I'm like, oh, crap, crap. It's pretty bad when the crazy rapist man is like, stop stalking me!